ladies and gentlemen once again welcome back to our channel and the topic for today's JCL tutorial is JCL execute statement in this tutorial we will primarily focus on the definition of execute statement and how you can use the execute statement to execute a JCL proc or a COBOL program or any other program the entire presentation is divided into four different sections. First one is introduction to job control language that is JCL. Then we will focus on the different types of job control statements that you need in a JCL. And in third section we will focus on the definition of execute statement and how you can use execute statement to execute a proc and a program. And what are the different parameters which is required in order to execute a program and in last section we will focus on a sample JCL so that you can have a good understanding of execute statement and before I start with today's presentation I would request you all to do subscribe to our channel because we need your support to grow our channel and I would like to say a big thank you to all our subscribers who have already subscribed to our channel so let's get started with today's presentation so the term JCL stands for job control language and is basically the command language of the ZOS operating system. So JCL provide a mechanism for the program to read input and write output to a requested physical resources. For every job that you submit, you need to tell the ZOS where to find the correct input, how to process that input and what to do with the resulting output. You use JCL to convey this information to ZOS through a set of statements which is known as job control statements. The job control statements are grouped into job steps. Finally, a job step consists of all the job control statements that needs to run a program. And in general, Every job must contain a minimum of two following steps. First one is a job card or a job statement and the second one is exe statement or an execute statement. Now let's move on to the next section that is job control statements. So in general you have three different types of job control statement. First one is job statement or a job card second one is exe statement or execute statement and the third one is dd statements now let's move on to the next section where we're going to discuss the definition of jcl execute statement and different parameters that can be used with jcl execute statement so in general the execute statement actually mark the beginning of a job step in fact jcl execute statement is the first step after the job card and the JCL execute step actually specify the program or a procedure that needs to be executed in the step and every job must have at least one exe statement the execute statement has two different variants first one is to execute a program and the second one is to execute a JCL procedure now let's look at the syntax of both variants so the first two column are reserved for an identifier then you have a step name which is a user selected name then you have an execute keyword which is followed by a parameter that is pgm equals to program name so in case if you are executing any COBOL program then you have to specify pgm followed by a COBOL program name and in case if you are executing a JCL proc then you have to use proc in place of pgm followed by a proc name and the parameter which is highlighted in green is actually optional and in case if you're running a COBOL program and you want to pass any additional information to the program then you can use param followed by that particular information and similarly if you're using proc then you can use proc overriding technique to add modify or nullify the parameters which is used in catalog or in stream procedures and to override the parameter you should specify the parameter followed by a dot then you have a proc step name on which that particular parameter is used 
and then you have a value that you want to pass to that proc with the help of a JCL or an execute step in your JCL. Now let's move on to the next section where we'll focus on an example of how you can use execute statement in your JCL to invoke a COBOL program. So this is a sample JCL to run a COBOL program that is TREMP001 and if you look at the job card of this particular JCL in the first line so you'll have a identifier at the first two columns then you have a job name so that the job name should be a valid job name it should not start with a number it should always start with an alphabet similarly you have a job keyword which is actually used to identify that this is a job statement followed by a job statement you have uh, accounting information and a programmer name i have not used the class parameter because i have i'm just using a default class it's not a very cpu intensive job and then you have a message class i've used message class as a again you must follow your project guidelines to use the message class right the next parameter is message level and i've used 1 comma 1 that means i want to print both uh, system and job related messages and the last parameter is notify and i've specified as m person sysuid so it will automatically pick my id and it will notify me once the job is completed. The other two job control statement that I've used in this JCL is execute statement and TD statement. So if you see the step 01, it is actually executing a COBOL program that is TREMP001. And I hope you remember that in my previous slide, I've mentioned that execute statement is the first statement after a job card and each job or a JCL should have at least one execute statement along with your job card and after execute statement you have DD statements which is used to specify the input and output file details which will be used by your COBOL program so ladies and gentlemen this marks an end to our today's presentation and I would request you all to do subscribe to our channel because we need your support to grow our channel and in case if you have any question, then please do mention that in the comment section and I'm going to respond back after this presentation. And in case if you like this video, then share it with your friends. And in case if you don't like this video, then please do mention the feedback so that I can know what extra you're looking for. And I'm 100% sure that in my next video, I'm going to get all those details that you're looking for. So ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you so much for listening so patiently. Bye-bye and take care.